Hi guys, welcome. This is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of my Amazon guide. Today we're going to have a guest from Carbon Six coming in. It's going to be Clayton Atkinson, who is the affiliates director for Carbon Six. We've been a really big fan of uh, some of their tools that we've seen them uh, demonstrate. They've gone out and bought a bunch of tools on the market, and I met up with these guys over at Prosper. Uh, Clayton, are you uh, are you back to your computer desk there? There, I don't see you quite yet. We might be might have a ghost here for a second. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate Pixel Me. This is a tool. Uh, welcome back, Clayton. So we're live now. Um, so Clayton, welcome to the show. This is my Amazon guy. Welcome. Hey, thank you. Sorry, I just got here in time. Um, <laughs> happy to be here. Well, cool. So we're going to do um, a demonstration today of some of the Carbon 6 tools. Um, I'd like to dive straight in and start looking at this. And so one of the first tools we're going to look at is called Pixel Me. And, and so this is an interesting tool because of what it's able to do. It can track some of the external traffic and get, uh, get some of those conversions tracked off of the platform. Uh, going into Amazon through Google, Facebook, and otherwise. So, Clayton, let's go ahead and dive right in. in and uh, you can share your screen when you're ready. And I will add it to the stream once you've got uh, Pixel Me up. And and so, Clayton, you're going to show us uh, how the tool works, why people should care about this, and why they might want to add this to their rosters. So, ready when you are. We're going to see a little uh, uh, matrix thing going on here for a second. Okay, absolutely. Well, no problem. Um, first, I'll just talk to you just a quick like overview, and then we can dive into the demo. Sure. So Pixel Me does three things really well. Number one, it helps organize all of your off Amazon advertising in one place and gives you a quick look. Instead of, we, we support Google, Facebook, and Instagram, as well as TikTok. And instead of having to log into all those different platforms and try to see how your ACOS is doing and how your products and campaigns are performing. We put those all under one roof to save you time, but also to help you make quick business decisions that can save you money and help you, you know, increase your bottom line. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is it connects to Amazon attribution to make sure that anytime you do bring a sale from off Amazon onto Amazon, that you're going to take advantage of the 10% brand referral bonus that Amazon is offering. And that's all automatically done. Anytime a link is created for putting in a, a campaign, it's automatically already embedded in there. I know a lot of people were trying to do it manually and it was a very finicky process. So we've simplified that as well. And then, yeah, that's one of the things I think was really cool about the UI, which we're going to show today is how seamless all of these pieces are working together from one portal and it's going to save a bunch of time. Uh, and that's very, very helpful. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's huge for business owners that are trying to maximize their time and spend it where they see most wisely. The third thing that PixelMe does really well, and this is actually how PixelMe started. PixelMe started as a retargeting tool. Um, I'm not sure if everybody watching is familiar with Pixels, but the easy way for me to think about it is basically it's embedded in every link and it's like a cookie that follows people around online. So when you're actually getting people to click on this link, you get some information to be able to retarget that audience. I think about it, about it as like an email list, but even better, right? If somebody clicked on a product of yours, it's very likely they're at least somewhat interested, but maybe they didn't buy on the first time. So you can retarget that person to encourage them to buy. If you've ever clicked on like a pair of shoes or something, but didn't buy it and then you keep seeing it everywhere, it's probably a pixel doing that. But that's how we started and we've evolved into the Amazon um, space. We have clients like Gucci, Sephora, UNICEF, big Procter & Gamble, big brands that, are, that originally were using us for retargeting. And now we're bringing that to the Amazon space. And there's no real, there's no tool out there like it. So it's very cool. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll share my screen. Let's and, go ahead uh, and dive in then. Let's take in, a look yeah. at this. All right. So this is PixelMe. Show me what we're looking at. Yeah. So um, when you log into PixelMe, you'll be right into your dashboard where you can uh, look at your different campaigns, whether or not you're running Amazon, Google, Facebook ads. You can create folders, but uh, really, this is where the magic happens. So if you want to add a product, it's as simple as putting in the URL of the product. Um, this is a demo account. We actually, um, so after you add a product, it'll reload. Um, so here's some of the products we put in, but it takes seconds to add the product. If you want to see it, I can show it to you, but it's, um, it's, it's that easy. And then you would simply, if you wanted to create a new campaign, you can pick between Google, Facebook, and TikTok. And again, all these campaigns will be created and managed from within the pixel me framework so you don't have to go to tiktok you don't have to go to facebook of course in the beginning there will be a little setup you have to set up and connect your ad accounts to pixel me as well as your amazon attribution account uh, we have videos on how to do all that but it's a very seamless process 
And we also added um, influencing campaigns to where you can start to now use links anywhere. So if you want them on blog posts, if you want people to make uh, Twitter posts, you know, added at the bottom of a YouTube video anywhere, then we can track and tell you if there's conversions coming from that as well. So this is very big for influencers. But yeah, if we uh, click on Google, for example, um, you would select your ad account. In this case, we're going to pick the Google Pixel Me account. You would add a product. I've been doing this yoga mat pretty often. Um, and then you would click next. And again, I don't know if everybody is familiar with Google, TikTok, and Facebook, like ad, like cam like where you create your campaigns and their framework, but it's not pretty. It's not extremely user-friendly, and we've simplified it very much. So if we say this is uh, my Amazon guy, uh, podcast, we'll call that the, I can't type today. <laughs> um, we'll call that the campaign. And then you can pick a start date and an end date. Um, these are both optional. If you don't do it, it just runs continuously. You can do multiple languages. You can pick different locations. We offer lots of different countries. I'm back. I don't know what happened there. All right. Oh, Internet went I... out for a solid 30 seconds. Oh, no keep, way. Keep, keep going. You may, did you not even notice? <laughs> keep going, I, then. <laughs> I can't see the video. I'm on my screen. Did I, should I start over? <laughs> no, keep going. Everybody else can see it. Okay, okay. All right. I just good. disappeared for like a minute. All right. Well, I was just showing you how easy it is to create a campaign. It literally takes two seconds. So a new campaign, we click Google. Um, we pick the the uh, Google ad account that we want to do. You can add more than one ad Google ad account. And then um, we pick the product. We go to next. I was going to call this my Amazon guy. Um, you can pick a start and end date. If you don't, no problem. It's just going to run continuously. You can pick your location. We offer many different countries, um, languages as well. You can put your budget and your also, as well as your maximum cost per click bid limit. This is optional. And then this is very important. This is where you're going to be putting in your pixels. Um, you can add Facebook, you can add Google. And this is really cool because if you add more than one pixel here, then you'll actually be collecting an audience to retarget in the future. And you can retarget that person on Facebook. You can retarget it on Google. We offer a lot of different pixels. So we offer Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. These are all the ways that you can try to connect with, uh, with uh, your audience. Let me, I just messed that up because I, <laughs> I was trying to show you too much there. So let me fire it through here. So we're back here. Um, call it my Amazon guy because if I save this the same way, it's going to tell me I've already created a campaign with that name. So we're going to pick our pixel. We recommend using Facebook and Google as a ton of people have Facebook and Google and it'll be more likely to capture uh, that audience and retarget them. Um, and so then you can just leave this as pixel at pixamz.com as the domain and then click next. We'll call this my Amazon guy as well. Um, so this is your ad group name, and this is really nice. Um, talking to users, this is something they wanted. They wanted us to pull in everything from your actual Amazon listing. So over here for this product, we have pulled in the description, the bullet points, the title, and we also, from Amazon Advertising, pulled in their suggested keywords. So you can quickly copy that to your clipboard and paste it. And inside of here, you can pick whether you want phrase, broad, or exact, and we have explanations of what all those are. Not going to get into that right now, but um, yeah, this is how user friendly it is, right? And so you can add as many as you want or as few as you want, and you click next. This and is, this is going to add in all of the code from Amazon's attribution and also set up the campaigns directly inside of Google and Facebook. Yep. So exactly. you don't have to log into Facebook, you don't have to log into Amazon. You can make the ad right here, write all the copy put it all in and it'll automatically track conversions. Pretty neat. That's exactly right. Yeah, you got the idea. Um, huge time saver, huge tool and the retargeting, I can't talk about how important that is. But yeah, so you create an ad, like whatever you think sounds good. Uh, we usually put a, recommend using a dollar amount. If somebody wants a $10 yoga mat, they're not gonna click on this. So you don't waste ad spend, add some social credit, use the word Amazon, whatever. You get the idea though, right? You create a listing, um, you click next. This is where you're going to review it. And we actually give you a preview of what the advertisement is going to look like. If you're happy with it, you continue forward. If you're not, you can go back and you click launch. And there's going to be one more page where it uh, asks you to confirm like 100% if you want to make it active or not. I'm not going to make it active. I'm just going to save it as a draft because I don't actually want to run ads for this product. But it's pretty, it's pretty cool to see the, the, the preview, right? You'd be able to see what it's going to look like on Google and whatnot. Super useful. Yeah. And inside of there, like inside of the Google ads, the top headline always stays the same, but the secondary headlines, they'll switch and Google will do that automatically to see which one converts the best. 
Um, but yeah, the preview is super useful. And then after you created the campaign, um, if for any reason you ever want to pause them or play them, it's this easy with a button. So if you're unhappy with the, uh, the ACOS or for whatever reason you want to make some changes. But here is when you actually go into the product and you can see all the campaigns. So we have TikTok here. We have Google. I could add a Facebook one in here as well. Um, this is some influencer campaigns that I created when I was doing a demo for an influencer the other day. But yeah, so you have the data in here for um, your ACOS, your ROAS. Um, you can see the total cost, clicks, impressions. This is a demo account, so we're not actually running uh, running campaigns on them. But if you click in here, even further we dive in, you can see the results from a keyword level. And this can't be like emphasized enough. Like what we're seeing from, from this is incredible organic keyword rank increases on Amazon, right? And so you're bringing traffic off of Amazon, but you're bringing it onto Amazon. And Amazon loves that because you just turned somebody that maybe wasn't going to be shopping today, maybe was never going to shop on Amazon. And now you've just brought them um, additional revenue. And so they're rewarding customers for doing that. And people that aren't familiar with this, again, the, the importance of Amazon attribution is that Amazon is literally subsidizing your off Amazon advertising. Every time you make a sale that you bring from Google or Facebook or TikTok or anywhere that an influencer posts it, they're giving you 10% back. So instead of charging you 15% like normally, they're just charging you 5%. So they're literally so subsidizing. We need, to, we need to dissect that a little bit because I don't think everybody yeah. truly understands what you're saying. How am I getting 10% back? So, right. There's, if you're a brand owner and you have a brand registry, then you're eligible for Amazon attribution, which means that Anytime that you, so what our software is doing is inside of the link, it's embedding a tag, which is an Amazon attribution tag, which people have tried to do manually and it's a very finicky process, but we're putting that in that link. So when the traffic is coming from Google to Amazon, Amazon is aware of that. Inside of that link, that, that tag communicates to Amazon, hey, this was off Amazon advertising that came onto Amazon. So when that sale is completed, if the person checks out and buys your product, Amazon has agreed through the um, Amazon attribution um, connection to refund you or rather charge you less. Um, they give you a 10% brand referral bonus back. So if your product's $10, they usually take $1.50, right? So they take $1.50, but then they give you a dollar back. Does that make sense? Makes perfect sense. Great showing us the pixel me demo. Uh, for those that are watching with us live, if you have a question for Clayton on how external traffic can be tracked or how pixel me works, feel free to ask that question in the comments section. Uh, so, so Clayton, um, tell me how, uh, pixel me, like, why did it come about? Like, what was the problem you were trying to solve with the tool? Well, great question. So we're solving a lot here, right? Basically the way I look at it is that whenever, like a few years ago, Amazon attribution didn't exist. So it was extremely difficult to track. If you were putting ads on Facebook or Google or anywhere, you might be converting, but there was no way to know how well converting you were converting. You just knew you were sending traffic. So or, Amazon, or which campaign creative was the one that exactly caused the conversion. So how do you and, optimize? Uh -huh. And even on a further level, like which keyword inside of that campaign, right? Even if you didn't know the campaign was converting, if you're advertising for five keywords inside of that, which one is really uh, making the difference? And so we um, saw the, the opportunity to, and, and one more thing that's worth mentioning is that as ad um, services mature, right? Like, Five years ago, advertising on Amazon was very cheap compared to Google and more mature ad uh, services. But as these campaigns or as these companies grow, more and more people, like everybody's advertising inside of Amazon these days. So it was kind of a perfect storm in the sense that all of a sudden, advertising on Amazon isn't as cheap. Amazon is subsidizing off Amazon advertising. So now all of a sudden, however expensive Google or Facebook or TikTok ads looks like, it's actually less because Amazon's going to be giving you um, money back on all of these sales and people wanted a better way to rank as well. I think everybody that's in the Amazon space knows about, you know, TOS changes that came through last year. A lot of people were doing gray hat and black hat things that got their accounts closed. And so people said, how do I drive traffic? How do I create more conversions and how do I ultimately rank higher organically on keywords? And this was our answer. Um, bringing what we're seeing is that the best sort of sale you can get for organic keyword rank increase is an Amazon attribution sale, better than an organic sale on, on Amazon, better than a pay, obviously better than a uh, PPC or paid sale. 
um, on Amazon. We're bringing traffic that otherwise wouldn't exist on Amazon. Amazon loves that. And we're seeing that those keywords that we put inside of Google, for example, like Amazon knows which keyword you're advertising for through metadata when that link comes through and they're rewarding you like substantially for those keywords. Um, so we were trying to solve the problem of, hey, how do people launch in today's day and age? And also how do people create new revenue streams? Like this is literally creating multiple, like many people have very profitable campaigns that are coming from Google, Facebook, and TikTok. Obviously depends on your product and who your audience should be, but it's creating additional revenue streams. It's creating um, a way to launch products with 100% TOS compliance, which I cannot emphasize enough. And um, yeah, it's just, it's, 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 it's a game changer, honestly. Um, and the biggest thing is, the one other thing is that everybody was trying to create, everybody would love to have a, a perfect, I don't know if you dropped off again. I'm just gonna keep talking. Um, everybody would love to have this like huge email list of people that they knew were interested in their brand or in their product. Well, that's what retargeting um, does. So, hey, hey, Steven again. Um, I'm still here, man. Fun um, times. I'm having uh, <laughs> technical difficulties today, so <laughs> we might have to cut this one short. But but I thought that was a great demo of, of Pixel Meme, and and so let me just ask you this, uh, Clayton. You you solve some problems on the market. Um, there's other tools that Carbon Six has. Tell us a little bit about those. Yeah. So let me just finish that last thought you dropped off. Um, yes. The the other thing that I was saying that it does is it, is it, you're creating these audiences by using the pixel, and that gives the ability for an Amazon uh, seller to actually start creating like an email list, but even better, people that are interested in your brand, they might be interested in similar products. So now all of us, because Amazon, we know they don't give us data to like retarget customers. They keep their customer very private. And so for the first time ever, we have people that we know are interested in our products that are clicking on our ads and we can um, reutilize that. That's what, you know, Sephora, Gucci, Procter & Gamble are doing with our uh, tool. It's extremely powerful. Retargeting those audiences is extremely powerful. But um, let me just check my notes here to see if there's anything else that... Um, I was going yeah, to talk gotta, about a couple of problems, but we'll keep going. So yeah, yeah. So so let's go to Nico's question first here. So I do most of my advertising on Facebook. Very exciting product, doing what Amazon couldn't. So Nico um, also asked a question during one of our lives the other day. You came in and answered it for him. So he's super interested in this. Mm -hmm. uh, tell tell us, let's what what's your take? So yeah, I think. Um, I think that this is offering a fantastic opportunity for people to not have to be in the Facebook framework. And if they want to expand Nico and your example, you're doing a lot of it on Facebook. I'm not sure what your, your products are or what your audience is, but there might be crossover in TikTok, And this gives you the ability to expand that way. But also inside of uh, in that in that light, you could do some testing to see, hey, where is most of my conversions come? Where am I best spending my money to uh, help my business? And so. Yeah, Facebook has been great. Google is great. TikTok is great. We're seeing like wonderful results um, depending on the product, depending on the campaign. Some products work great on Google. Some work great on TikTok. Um, looks like we have another question. Nico also asked, the problem that I've noticed with the referral bonus is that the Amazon attribution is terrible and reading sales from Facebook only picks up about 10% of sales I get from Facebook. I only get the bonus on that 10%. Interesting. So that was actually, you asked me before the call to come up with some objections that people have and, and, how, and talk about that. So we saw that um, with Google, it's always been very good. A lot of people have been trying to, so I'd be interested to know with Nico how he is creating his links. So like I mentioned earlier, it's a very finicky process. We figured it out and automated it. But what we were seeing even just like four or five months ago that Facebook and Amazon were having trouble um, together and communicating and the using the tag correctly, but we worked actually Pixel Me works directly with Amazon. Um, we are connected with them. We help they helped us develop this tool, which is again why it's 100% TOS compliant. And we've been seeing that we that we don't have that problem anymore. That that problem left four or five, maybe even six months ago. So we're seeing um, that it's working perfectly now. So it's interesting you brought up that Amazon was uh, working on this tool with you, and so that's how it's compliant. So how um, why would Amazon do that? Well, think about it from their perspective, right? They want everybody advertising to try to bring customers onto Amazon. And the more people that are advertising on Facebook, Google, and TikTok, the better it is for them. So of course they were happy to help us build the tool because it's gonna encourage more people to bring traffic to Amazon. So so I, I, this is a really important point and I knew that was gonna be Clayton's answer. <laughs> it makes sense that Amazon wants traffic from external and they want it done correctly. So 
by them um, helping build the tool and endorsing it, not necessarily from a name standpoint, but from like, hey, we're going to make it compliant. You now have a safe choice. This is the reason why uh, my Amazon guy as an agency uh, historically is not focused on external traffic because it's difficult uh, to manage. It's hard to look a CEO in the face and say, hey, I want you to spend $20,000 on Facebook. I know it's going to work because I didn't. Now there's an opportunity to check this out. That's why when I went to the Prosper show, I invited Clayton on because I was so interested in this. All right. If we have any other questions on Pixel Me, feel free to add them into the comments. Um, so Clayton, uh, you're with Carbon6. Carbon6 is kind of a new uh, new kid on the block, so to speak. Um, tell us a little bit about what Carbon6 has been up to. Yeah, so um, that's exactly what we are. So we've actually been around for around 10 months. 10 months, sorry, I said that weird. Um, but we've been in stealth mode uh, for a lot of reasons. But we came out and Prosper was our big uh, reveal party. Uh, we sponsored the big party there in Vegas at the Omnia. It was an incredible time. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you and your father, Stephen. But Carbon6 is at the most basic level. It's basically a software aggregation company. Um, we're involved in software as in wholesale, um, merch by Amazon, arbitrage. But our main focus right now is on private label. And um, the reason that we saw a need for this was because we saw a lot of tools with great tech and great teams, but a lot of the times they are limited in the sense of their resources, whether that be money or people. And we wanted to help these tools grow, right? To get in front of more people because sometimes the, the newest and the best like Pixel Me is somewhat new in the Amazon space. But to me, it's the most revolutionary tool. That's a good example about something that um, you know, might not have had the advertising resources, or maybe the founder was trying to wear too many hats. He was trying to be the marketer, but also the programmer and also, you know, the affiliate director. And that becomes difficult. So what we've done is we've collected an incredible team of people and resources to help build these softwares up to obviously like our number one goal is to help Amazon sellers. We think if we can increase the percentage chance that an Amazon seller is successful and doesn't give it a try. And then three months later say, Oh, selling on Amazon doesn't work. You can't make money. If we can increase that just one or 2%, then we can help a lot of people work from home, create income and, and uh, live a better life. So that's, that's kind of the goal of carbon six is that we're bringing bringing it together. So let's go ahead and list out the tools here. Cause there's quite a few of them. Yeah, there are. Um, so I don't know if we need to focus on in wholesale. We have um, Scan Unlimited, which is a really revolutionary tool and a really great tool in wholesale. In merch, we have Merch by Amazon is the best one I would recommend uh, checking out. And then in arbitrage, we have Zen Arbitrage, which is a book uh, retail wholesale, um, arbitrage company. Very cool. And then, but in private label, um, the four tools that we have are AMZ Alert. It's what it's, it's like what it sounds like. It's an alert system to help you monitor all of your listings. Um, very customizable, very usable. It helps you pick, like we have every alert that every other alert system has. Uh, we check quicker than anybody else does. And you can pick exactly, the problem with alerts is you get too many of them and you stop paying attention to the ones that matter, right? Everybody's been flooded with emails. So this alert system is very customizable. You can integrate with Slack, Jira. We have our own API um, and it helps you pick. You can separate them by groups, brands, and then create sub users. So one user can be in charge of one brand. So it's great for agencies and aggregators, but it's also awesome for our individual sellers. You can pick how you get alerts, when you get alerts, and who gets those alerts uh, from email, text, and separate them by groups. Very great. AMZ alert. Um, next up is Zon Tools. It's a PPC management tool that uh, is um, AI powered and it's been around for a long time. So we have a lot of data to create very good systems, but unlike some of the other, uh, PPC platforms that kind of, you just put your money in a black box and hope that they use it as, uh, you know, in your best interest as much as possible. We give, um, the user some ability to set some thresholds, create some rules, because we think that the, at the end of the day, the seller knows their own business better than anyone else. And if they need to go there, in and adjust. There are a lot of AI tools that are very black box. It's like, hey, um, pay us money, click a button. We'll spend a bunch of money and just trust, right? And so so with Zon Tools, you're giving a little bit more control. So it's not as a black box. Uh, by the way, guys, I haven't tested this tool before. I'm, that's why I'm asking these questions to understand it. <clears throat> yes, you're exactly right. And that's why we liked the tool um, is yeah. because all the special like super users of the tool, that was their favorite thing. They said, you know, I've tried out every PPC tool you can imagine. And this is my favorite because I still want to just be involved a little bit. It's like, we look at it as like a, uh, it's like 95% automated and it can be a hundred percent if you want it to be. But if you want to touch it, we, we think about it as like a self-driving car versus a taxi. If you get in a taxi, you hope they take you the fastest way. They hope they don't take you in circles and run up the meter. And, but you really don't have any control at the end of the day. But 
if you're in a self-driving car, it'll, it's going to take you to where you need to go. It, it's going to take you in the map, the quickest and most efficient way. But if the AI or something weird stops working, you can grab the wheel, right? So turning that into that analogy into a seller, if you know a big holiday is coming up and you want to, you know, increase the amount of your ad spend or uh, uh, to have a certain strategy because of a big holiday or seasonality for your product, then you can do that. If you know specific things about your business, like many that I couldn't even think of right now, you can grab the wheel and take control. So we really like that aspect and we're extremely transparent about how every single one of our algorithm works. You can hover over every tool. We explain it. So there's complete transparency and our users really appreciate that. So I like that. All right. So that was on tools. So we got AMZ alerts, Zon tools, pixel me. And I know there's another one. Yeah. 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 Uh, seller tools. That is the newest addition to carbon six and seller tools like is very cool. The reason it's very cool is because to my knowledge, it is the only product research tool on the market that is using actual Amazon data. I'm not sure how many people are aware, but Amazon came out with the product opportunity explorer and technically it's still in beta, but it's been in beta for like nine months. It's working very well. And if you don't have, don't know what it is, Google it, Product Opportunity Explorer Amazon. If you don't have access to it, there's a link to click. You write a little email and generally you get um, access within two or three days. But we built an extension on top of the Amazon Product Opportunity Explorer, which means that when we give, it's, it's crazy. We give tons of data and going back to, uh, but basically it's using actual Amazon data. So you, actual from a niche level, a product level, and a keyword level, you're looking at actual Amazon data. And we've checked it against some of the most well-known product research tools out there and the numbers that they're displaying. And there's lots of times where they are not similar. So they're, if guessing. You want to, they're guessing. It's, it's I mean, in, in full transparency, not to speak poorly about any other companies, for the longest time, they were the best tool out there because it was the best data out there. Everybody was guessing. Yes. But now we have real data. Now we got real data. Yeah, we have real data. So earlier today, I put out a video on how you can now see how com uh, consumers are finding your brand. They gave in more data. They, you know, Product Opportunity Explorer was cool. It was kind of cute. But I think <laughs> what they just released this week was even cooler. And now you can see the actual conversions per keyword on the brand. So uh, for those that, that are watching this, you should check that video out next. Uh, and I bet, I bet there's going to be a lot of software tools like, uh, like seller tools getting hungry to look at that and engage with it because that's even more real data. Absolutely. Yes. And seller tools, just to let you know, we have a couple of big updates coming in just uh, the next like 10 to 14 days. Can't drop them all right now, but seller tools is becoming an all in one, like incredible research tool and to help build your listing and everything. It has the, also the most like not complex, the most complete listing quality score of anything I've ever seen. We go into a plus content. We go into the number of your top 10 reviews. It's very, very thorough. Most listing quality scores out there have 14, 15 touch points. We have over 40. And so for any of those people out there that are perfectionists or really want to take their like, <laughs> listings to the next level, if you have a hero ASIN and you really want to make it good, the seller tools extension is going to be your best friend. It's really incredible. All right. Last question for you today, Clayton. If you had to make a prediction of what's going to happen next in the Amazon ecosystem, as broad of a question as you possibly get, what is your prediction <laughs> for 2022? That is broad. Um, but I, I guess my answer would be that Carbon6 will continue to um, acquire great technology companies. So if you're out there, um, let us know. We're always looking for great tools and great teams. But more generally for the Amazon seller, I think that off Amazon advertising is going to evolve and it's going to become the way to launch products as well as create new revenue streams. I think off Amazon, like 2022 is going to be the year of off Amazon advertising. And I think PixelMe is going to be the tool to help you do it. So thank you for battling the uh, internet went down today for me. Last time it was my computer and this time it's the internet. You can see, here's my screen. It's like not functional at the moment. So I went on the phone, turned off the Wi-Fi. And kept the show going. So, Clayton, thanks for being a good sport. Thanks for all that are watching today. Um, if people want to learn more about any of these tools, where should they go, Clayton? Um, you can go to carbon6.io. And then also, if you just you know type in Google on any of those, PixelMe, AMZ Alert, Zon Tools, Seller Tools, you'll find them right away. Uh, they've all been around a, a while, and they got great SEO. So you, not, not, not difficult to find. And if you guys want to reach out to me, um, my email is clayton at carbon6.io. Uh, the six is not spelled out. It's the number. And I'm happy to answer any questions and set people up with more uh, in-depth demos to show them the Facebook, the TikTok, the influencer, 
um, ways of the campaigns. I'm happy to help in any way I can and talk about any of the tools. And if I don't know the answer, I'll find somebody that does. What what a salesman, Clayton. All right. So <laughs> thanks for coming on the show today. And and uh, really kind of shows the size of the uh, the space right now. It's still very up and coming. The fact we're giving email addresses out on live streams. So um, definitely some good predictions there and, and seeing what we're going to see about external traffic. That is the uh, My Amazon Guy show today where we talked about a bunch of Amazon tools. Click the link uh, to learn more about Carbon 6. We might have a promotion going on in that link there. And thanks for joining us today. We'll see you guys on Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time where I go live and answer any questions.